everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I'm going to do a ring pour on. I'm going to try again to get the cloudy effect. Um, I have right now um, a layer around the edges and the corners and the sides of um, a combination of, and this is the first time I'm using it, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Satin Enamel and the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And the recipe I used was one part of this satin enamel to two parts of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I just added a dab of um, Liquitex uh, Gloss Medium, and then I thinned it with water. Let's go over the rest of my paints. Today I'm using Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Glacier Blue. Again, uh, Rust-Oleum Metallic's Real Pewter. And Ruby. These are all very pretty colors. And I'm using the DecoArt Metallic Deep Sapphire. And aubergine. This is a new color to me. It's like a plum, a deep smoky plum color. And I did use my usual pouring medium with these paints, which is two parts Floetrol to one part paint. Squirt of GAC 800 and about a teaspoon of the Liquitex gloss medium. And I can show you consistency here. Just leaves a little trace. I wanted to leave it a little bit thicker for the ring pour. But let's get started. Um, I am going to also add a little bit of this um, enamel mixture with the paint that's going to do the ring pour. So let's start out with the dark blue. And I think I will pour the paints kind of down the side here instead of mixing them up really well. And this is the um, enamel mixture here. Some of this aubergine. And I'm going to add some of the ruby. And a little more of the enamel mixture. The pewter. And I'll just repeat my colors. I did not add any silicone today to these paints. I don't think I mentioned that. If I do get cells, it is from the Floetrol. And I think I will just use up the ruby here.
I really love this ruby color. So pretty. And I think I did use all of this deep sapphire. Yeah. And I'll use a little bit of the pewter on top. Okay. And I am going to just put a little bit of that enamel mixture down. And I will start my pour now. Okay. I'm just going to tip it back a little bit here. And I am going to fix in the middle here. And I am going to just pour a little bit more of the enamel paint around here to help the paint move. Okay, and I will try and go in a circular motion here to start. Bringing it back into the middle. Go over that corner. And I will bring it back to the middle. And I will go over this corner. And bring it back. I'll go up over to this corner now. And bring it back just taking a look at it here a minute And I will go over the last corner. And bring it back. I'm going to take a look at it now. I'm going to take a look at my corners also, see if they need a little work, a little covering. And 
and I just see a little lump of something here I'm going to take out. Lump of paint. Okay, I'm going to just turn it here. Check these corners. When you're, when you're checking your corners, you always want to pick up the paint that is similar to the uh, corner you're trying to cover to make it look more natural. I think I will clean off the bottom here. Just still taking a look at this here. See if I want to tip some more. I am liking the red, the ruby in there. And I am really liking the blue. And I think I can tip a little bit off on this corner if it will move some more. It is moving a lot slower now. I'm just trying to stretch this out a little more. Okay. And now I'm going to bring it back a little bit more into the middle. And as you can see, I wanted to stretch and I did achieve what I wanted. This cloudy effect in here with this blue, it's very pretty. Dark blue line and then white and then lighter blue. And I am going to torch. I do see another little piece of paint here. Take that out and let's give it a torch. I did get a lot of the cloudy effect and that's what I wanted. And a lot of these little white spots coming up is from that enamel. Okay, just taking another look at it here. And I think I'm actually just going to stretch it just a little more in this corner. Just take a little bit of that off if I can. Okay, and then bring that back. and bring it down a little bit. Take a look at another look at it here. Very happy with this, very pretty. Very nice cloudy effect. And you'll see all the little special spots when I get you down for a close up. Looks like a real dreamy painting. Very nice cloudy effect. Pretty happy with the enamel paint. One more torch here. I don't see a whole lot of the pewter that came up, but you can in a few areas here. It's in here. And now I will get you down for a close-up. Tell me what you think. Okay, again, this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I did a ring pour on. This is the upper left-hand corner. And you can see the ruby 
lines in there. They turned out very pretty. Very nice. A lot of these um, stripes or lines are really um, defined. Very nice. And the cloudy effect, so pretty in there. And this is the lower left-hand corner. Very pretty in here. And we'll go up the middle here. Again, the lines are very nice. Very happy with them. This is the upper right-hand corner. And this is the area I really like where that ruby came through. And it's a cloudy effect. So pretty. And then this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all. So you'll be notified the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.